Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about becoming a better software developer and the signs as to why that you are becoming a better software developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was pretty much how do I know, how, when do I know that I'm getting better at software development? And I think that's a fair question. Uh, I would say that the obvious thing is, of course, things are going from faster, like you're making things faster, you're creating, uh, you're not as nervous anymore, like that's a big one. If you can feel more emotionally stable when you're building things, uh, that's definitely something that is a good indicator that you're feeling more secure in your skill set. It's not just, you know, you don't have to look every single thing up. Every other code line doesn't require you to go on Stack Overflow and look up the thing that you're doing and things are just progressing smoother. Speed is usually a very good indicator that you're getting better. It's always confidence. Confidence means that you trust your own skills, which usually comes from the fact that you feel that you're consistently delivering the results or you're consistently getting the sort of results that you want. Like in other words, the, you and the people who are buying software from you are happy with the results that you are producing. These are very good indicators, but I think that I, I also want to touch on something that is a little bit more philosophical at least, and maybe just a pinch more opinionated, but I still think it's something that it's true, at least from what I can see. So I was saying that your confidence is going to go up uh, when you're realizing that you're actually getting better at this whole software thing. And that's absolutely true. And I think that with that confidence comes a realization. And I think that's when you really start feeling that you're getting pretty good at this sort of thing. And that is when you are simplifying more than you are adopting. So this is a good thing and it is a, it is a bad thing. Some Quite a lot of people will claim that there is a lifespan to a software developer where in the beginning of things you are adopting absolutely everything that is new and trendy and cool in IT, you are adopting as much as humanly possible. But as you progress and as you acquire more and more, you will get to a point where you feel like you have reached an under level of understanding for pretty much all the tools that are on the market at that moment in time, or quite a lot of them. And you've started to see a pattern to them all. You're starting to see that the tools that you have, they do these sorts of things and they're useful for the, these types of scenarios. Like you have a, think of it as an eagle eye view of all the tech that is available to you. And at first, because when you first start out, you're basically just kind of blind. You're just trusting what all the sales pitch are telling you and you're just adopting things because you don't truly do this thing that I think is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing. You're, you are working without understanding the problem that you are solving. And when you get to a certain level of experience, you will understand what problems that you are truly solving. Like not, you, you won't just look at the tool as this magical thing that will help you produce software because you've already gone beyond that. You've already started looking at things from the perspective, okay, what is the pro what are the problems that I'm going to face with building this specific piece of software? And how can I solve this problem rather than what tool do I need to do this thing in the correct way in accordance with what everybody's telling me today? And when you get to that level of experience, you will notice something because I've seen this and this is fairly true for quite a lot of developers you will see that you, I'm not saying that you become complacent. I think that it's rather that you start to sip through the bullshit a little bit. You start to realize that, all right, I can simplify things for myself and I don't actually need to have all of these other tools over here. There's a hundred tools coming out every, every month, right? I don't really need to care so much about, about those. I don't really need to learn every single thing that is on the market because I have the things that I need to do my job. And that's when you start to become a little bit, I don't really like the word complacent, but maybe it is a good word to say complacent. You will start to have a preference in the tooling and you will become a little bit more conservative because it is extremely energy draining to learn every single thing under the sun just for the sake of maybe I'm going to use this or maybe this has some value. And you know that you're getting to be a more solid developer when you can actually solve the problems, pretty much all the problems that you have 
in accordance with, of course, what the industry is asking of you, because that's the thing that is different, in my opinion, between this becoming more secure rather than being complacent. That's probably a good term. So secure versus complacent. So secure means that you know what the industry is requiring of you today, what the market wants. You know how to build these things with this, with this set of tools that are available to you. Complacent is that you don't just give a, you just don't give a fuck anymore. You don't have the energy to stay competitive in the marketplace or to actually hone your skills to a point where it's on par with what the industry wants of you. And that's where it gets dangerous because the, at one point you will sooner or later realize that damn, there are some really important stuff or important tools that I don't really know that is causing me to have issues with getting jobs or doing my job properly and so forth and so forth. So that's going to be my answer on this. I think that that's the, that's the main thing. So what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me, the biggest sign that you're actually improving at this whole software thing is number one, you're, there's just a better flow in your work process. You're just, you don't have to look things up as much as you used to. You don't have to, you don't have this situation where you don't really know how to solve this. It's like you're at the dead end and you just have to, you know, kind of pray that you find some person on the internet that can help you figure this out. You still always do. I get quite a lot of times that happens still, but you know, it's not as often. You feel more confident and you feel like more confident. Yeah. So apart from, from that, feeling this emotional security is a big part as well. You, you relax more. You're not as nervous. You're not as and you don't get anxieties. A big tell is definitely that you're better at doing time estimations. That's definitely something because in the beginning, quite a lot of developers are very afraid of making time estimates. It feels very bad. And for a lot, for a lot of people that never goes away, but it feels easier. And lastly, I think that when you start to simplify your own workflow, you're starting to narrow down the amount of tools you use and you try to focus more on reducing churn and problems within your own work process rather than just try to adopt every single thing, that's when you start to really mature as a developer. Have a great day.